Hello everyone, welcome back to another Starfield console mod video for Xbox. This is part 8 of the series where I'm going over the best new mods for the game. Again, we have some really awesome ones to look over, including one of my favourite mods so far, which I put right at the end of the video. Let's take a look at the first two mods where they make tweaks to gameplay. Significantly better loot. One of the biggest issues with Starfield was how unrewarding the exploration felt. While their loot tables and their chances are somewhat comparable to those of Skyrim, the added distance and time with not much happening in between those loot chests at the end of a dungeon always made outposts or other points of interest feel really disappointing. Well with this mod, they will buff your exploration gains in three significant ways. First, the mod changes the leveled list for boss chests to guarantee you better item drops. This works as follows. Level 1 guaranteed at least rare weapon or armor piece with a chance to be epic or legendary. At level 15 guaranteed at least an epic with a chance of legendary. And at level 35 always guarantees at least one legendary item at the end of any dungeon. Second, contraband is now worth more. And third, credit drops have been increased significantly by up to 50%. To go with this mod, I've also installed Make Life Easier gameplay tweaks. This mod has three times faster waiting menu times, slightly reduces ship registration fees from 84% to 75, reduces the number of scans in order to fully survey a planet, doubles enemy armor drop chance, and halves vendors restock times. Together with these two mods, your gameplay for exploration should be significantly improved. Darth Vader, another Star Wars mod is added to the game as the Darth Vader outfit into Starfield. It can be crafted at the industrial workbench and it counts as a spacesuit, not clothes, which could be a good thing, although I'd prefer a clothing option because currently the mod doesn't actually work as a spacesuit because when you go into space, it will ask you to put on a spacesuit. So I assume it's just a bug for now, but once it's fixed, it will be a decent mod. Immersive HUD with less clutter. A minimalistic user interface mod for those who desire a less clutter HUD. Adds an immersive dot crosshair, removes annoying hit markers, removes enemy levels and health bars, removes the XP pop-ups, removes enemies showing on the compass, removes the stealth user interface element, adds a clean ship HUD as well, removes ship hit markers, and adds a dot crosshair for your ship. SKK Outpost Attack Manager. Build an outpost attack terminal to configure outpost attacks as you want them. You can use on-demand triggers or random timers to get enemies to attack your outpost. Hire mercs and unlock more turrets in order to help defend them off. Pretty much this mod, if nothing else, populates your settlement with more people and the attackers can fight off any enemy fauna that wanders into your settlement and it just makes settlements overall a lot more immersive as they can now become under attack and you can use your soldiers to defend the attacks. Thor's Hammer. This mod adds a new 3D modeled Thor's Hammer into the game. Head over to any pharmaceutical lab, there will be one in the lodge if you're looking for one and you can find Thor's Hammer and craft it. The weapon is legendary and comes with three effects that best match the power of the hammer. Furious, which has concussive hits deal more damage consecutively, staggering, a small chance to stagger enemies, and concussive, a small chance to knock down targets. The only thing I'd love to see with this mod is bigger knockbacks on enemies so they really go flying when you hit them, otherwise it's a good mod. Let your coat down for Starfield. This mod essentially allows you to automatically equip different outfits when in different locations. Home, home ship, city, outside, any breathable planet and space, and can be changed to allow you to have different outfits automatically. When you start the game, a new item called LYCD location menu will be added to your aid menu. So here is how you get it to work. First, save home and home ship locations with the provided LYCD location menu. Essentially, go to your home location, where mine's is Jimison, for example, and go to the menu and choose your home location, then go to your ship and choose that as your ship location. Next, remove all your gear, including spacesuit, and then equip the outfit you want for a certain location. Go to the different menu, as there's two, the LYCD outfit menu, and save the outfit and choose the location you want to save it to. Then you can equip a different outfit and change it to the next location, and you can do this for all six. Now you can see how it works. I'm on Jimison with my outfit. If I enter my ship, you will see I automatically change to my ship outfit without having to do anything else. You can of course change this at any time to different outfit, so a super cool mod, and there are plans to make more outfits for different locations, including sleeping or swimming or different weathers. And so I really enjoy this mod, and I'd love to see it added for followers as well, because of course you'd like to have your followers match your outfits. But an awesome mod nonetheless. 
Imperial Armament replaces the nine vanilla weapons in game with counterparts from Star Wars. So the Side Star is replaced with the RK3 blaster pistol. Urban Eagle becomes the SE14C blaster pistol. The AA99 becomes the TL50 heavy blaster. Beowulf the DLT19 blaster, which is a sniper. Equinox is the E11 blaster rifle. Orion the E22 blaster rifle. Breach is the E11D blaster carbine. Microgun becomes the Z6 rotary cannon and Negotiator the G125 projectile launcher. Improved map markers. This mod simply adds more vibrant map markers to the game. They are different colours and more interesting than the black map markers in the base game. They will change the map markers for both settlements and all the ones that are surrounding planets. Basically any marker that is on the map will be different and a lot more colourful and it's definitely a mod I think everyone should install. Useful Breaks. Our final mod today is a really cool one, especially if you're wanting to play as a bounty hunter or slaver. So the mod starts off, you need to get a Nova Blast Disruptor to knock out people and craft a set of handcuffs or buy them from vendors. Next, you need to craft a brig on your ship where you can keep prisoners. And then all you have to do is go out and find some people to capture. It can be pretty much anyone, guards, enemies, innocent civilians like I'm capturing if you want to be into human trafficking. Of course you can stick to just capturing enemy NPCs, but either way what you have to do is head up to them and shoot them with your disruptor in order to stun them. Hit the melee button and an option will appear to restrain the NPC. They will then get on their knees and you can release them or send them to the brig on your ship. You can do it as many times as you have spaces on your ship, and if you want to build an entire slaver ship that's full of loads of brigs, then you can do exactly that. Now, as you can see, I have NPCs in the brig ready to sell. All you have to do then is find a less reputable person to sell your human cargo to, and the mod says that you can do it for Crimson Fleet, UC Security, or Freestar Security, pretty much any security guard. For me, none of those seem to work. The only person I could sell to was this pirate on the key. I'm sure that's just a bug with the mod, but I don't mind too much because it's probably more lore friendly to have the Crimson Fleet the ones who were buying slaves. But anyway, talk to this pirate and an option will pop up in order for you to sell the NPCs for credits even if you don't get too many credits for each person you sell. It's a super cool mod and allows you to play as a slaver essentially. I'd also like to see in the mod an option to hand in enemy NPCs like pirates or spacers to security forces so you're not selling them, you're simply handing them in more as a bounty rather than making money from selling humans. But So hopefully that will be added in the future. By the way, it's a very interesting mod and I really enjoyed testing it out. Guys, that is it for this video. Leave a like and subscribe to see more Starfield content and other games as well. Leave a comment about your favorite mods and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.